A disappointing end to a turnaround season. The Oregon State Beavers could not stop the Longhorns come from behind victory, losing the Alamo Bowl to Texas 31 to 27. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at 11. I'm Ken Boddy. Beaver supporters pack sports bars and restaurants to show solidarity for their team. And Coin Local 6 reporter Lisa Bailick joins us with fan reaction. I imagine that they were very upset with this outcome. Oh, absolutely, Ken. There's no question. Beaver fans would have loved to win. They were thrilled, though, their team made it this far into the national spotlight. Beavers at Big Al's were busy bowling while their football team was trying to knock down opponents in OSU's 16th bowl game ever. It's very hard trying to watch a bowl at the same time. And then everybody else at the same time, you don't know if it's because you did good bowling or that the Beavers did good. So who's doing better, you or the Beavers? Uh, the Beavers. Beaver believers thought their dreams would come true as their team led in the first half. Even the Duck fans, hunkering down in the Beaver's Den, were hoping for a win. I'm, I'm any Oregon fan, any Oregon team today. While it's no surprise, hundreds of OSU supporters packed the place. This was the scene all across the country. In fact, from California to New York, in eight states, official Beaver watch parties gathered at restaurants and bars. Beaver believers wearing their colors and getting as close to the game as they could without actually being in San Antonio. It's a great seat. You can get everything in. <laughs> Most fans stayed until the end, loyal to the Beavers until the final play, remembering the good parts. I thought they were gymnastically, the way they tackle and jump right back up. I was impressed. I thought it was an impressive game. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Overall game's still good. I mean, so for us to make it it's still a great season, nothing to be not be shabby about and still proud of a great season so and the fans know this first trip for the beavers to a bowl game in three years gives the team's faithful a reason to keep believing that's the great thing about college there's always next year now the best fan tribute i saw tonight a yellow vw bug with duck stickers but beaver flags hanging out both windows lisa Balick, coin local six Thanks, Lisa. Coin Local 6 Sports Director Dan Christofferson was at today's game in San Antonio. He brings us team reaction. Oregon State, Beaver Nation will remember this Alamo, but it is going to hurt. Minutes away from putting a big lasso around the Longhorns, the Beavers watch them slip the noose. They painted the Alamo Dome two shades of orange, and the Beavers came out shining brighter. Texas native Storm Woods, the one that got away. 10-3 OSU. The Longhorns, though, got their attention in a hurry. U.S. Olympian Marquise Goodwin, cannon blast. Texas had them tied. Beavers bounced right back. Touchdown to Ron Ward. 2010, back in command by halftime. Turnovers let the Longhorns off the hook, but when Storm Woods rolled wide, O State appeared on its way 27 17. But the Horns hooked up two late touchdowns. Goodwin, the game winner with 2.24 to go. Alex Okafor and the Texas defense slammed the door shut. 31 27, Texas rises up to steal the Alamo Bowl. Great opportunity for the Longhorns today. You know, we came out on top. You know, we just kept fighting through the whole game. It's hard when you let and then let it slip away. They played their hearts out. They played a good game. It's always disappointing to lose a game, especially, you know, coming here to, to the Alamo Bowl, you know, and, uh, and having the season like we did. We, we really want to win this game, but obviously we didn't. But, you know, it was a great season for us. So close, but yet not quite to that milestone 10th victory. Beaver Nation will mourn over this one, but you can't take away a turnaround 9-4 and four season. Reporting for you from San Antonio, Dan Christofferson, Point Local 6.